Our churches cooperate with the authorities. Last March, church deacon A.V. Ballinger was convicted on charges he molested a seven-year-old girl in Sunday school. Not only has Hiles defended Ballinger from the pulpit, he's said Christians shouldn't settle such matters in heathen courts. If we can judge the world someday, we can judge within ourselves. A.V. Ballinger should not be judged in the courts of heaven. He should be judged by wise people in the First Baptist Church of heaven, if he's judged at all. Now tonight, for years, Jack Hiles has preached he's always for the accused, never for the accuser. Hiles says he won't listen to malicious gossip. His critics say it's a recipe for cover-up, which permits denial of scandals like child molesting. We're not supposed to go to court in the Bible, black and white. Our churches cooperate with the authorities. And if today I could have the men stand to whose defense I've come through these 45 years of pastoring, you'd find out that we come to the aid of each other. Well, do I remember that day that many of us met together in Corpus Christi, Texas, and stood behind and beside our brother Lester Roloff. Hence, this meeting. Our churches cooperate with the authorities. Added to these ridiculous assumptions and malicious lies, statement that children that do not obey the man of God are severely punished. The people that started those lies know better. And the press that reported it ought to know better before it reports it. Not one child has been punished in the 30, nearly 34 years I pastored First Baptist Church of Hammond, nor in the 47 years that I've been preaching, 45 of those years pastoring. Not one child has ever been punished because they disagreed or disobeyed the man of God. Like Jared Gubber used to attend the grade school in junior high run by Jack Hiles in Sherrillville, Indiana. The principals, when they got new paddles, they'd bring them into the chapel service uh, and show them to the kids, you know, like, hey, look what I got. 